Let's divide 12.5 by 5. If you notice, this division problem is a little bit different from a normal division problem because it has a decimal in it. So our first step is simply going to be removing the decimal. Write down your problem as you normally would to prep it for long division. But don't write the decimal point. Now, we can do long division. Step number two is going to be our first step in long division, which is whole division. That's where we take that first digit of the dividend, divided by the divisor, and write that whole number up top. So in our case, we have 1 divided by 5, and that occurs 0 times. Now we can go to step 3. Step 3 is our multi-step process. This is where we multiply, subtract, and then drop or bring down the next digit in our dividend. So let's do that. We take 0 times 5, write that answer right below the first digit of the dividend. Subtract it, bring down our next digit, and we have 12. Now we're ready for the next step. Step number four, repeat this process until you have no digits left in your dividend. So we take 12 divided by 5, that occurs wholly twice. Take 2 times 5, we get 10. Subtract it, we get 2. Bring down 5, we have 25. 25 divided by 5, that goes five times. Five times five is 25. If we subtract these two, we get zero. And we're out of digits in our dividend. That means we don't have a remainder. So we're done, right? No, we got one last step. Step five is to put back in that decimal that we took out earlier. To do that, all you do is look where the decimal used to be at the top. Put it back into your dividend and then bring it straight up and put it in your answer. So our answer for this problem, 12.5 divided by 5, is just 2.5.